Hello and welcome back to Watch Into Extremes 2.0 with me, TNC1997. In this Source SDK tutorial, we are going to look at how to make a door that will swing open for Gary's mod. So, first things first, you are going to want to get the block tool and on the overhead map, you are going to want to select there. And what I want to do is just to drag it up to there and browse. And what we're going to want to do in here, filter, type in door. And this dev underscore measure door 01, just click that. Make sure it's all lined up over here. And just type in enter. Now, what, once you've got that, what you're going to want to do is go to tools and carve. So that then you've got a walkthrough area like so. Just undo that. And this is your, this will be your door. And the very useful thing with these is, with this text, these textures that are provided with the game, is that you will be able to know all of the dimensions. So what you are going to want to do is, where well, you've got the door like that, have it and basically press in alt and just resize it so you get the inside of the frame like that there you go and have it so that it is 64 deep and then what you're going to want to do is actually you can just browse and quite literally just replace it with I don't know that just a grey grid just do that tools carve and just delete that and here obviously you have your door in what you're going to want to do it's just so you don't get on the inside it's just adjust the camera so you can see all the edges just like that go into the toggle texture application on that select select and that one that one and that one just hold in control and you can click multiple just click apply and then there you go so you can now see the outside compared to the inside a lot better the only other thing you're going to want to do is just to make it a bit more so it's not as wide as that is if you just bring it in say a bit about let's say that wide and so that width is then perfect for having it and don't worry about this border because you can change that so don't worry about that that's just going to be the height from like the outside how high it's going to be so then what you're going to want to do now is to get the um entity tool and down here you have the categories you just want entities and you have here all the different objects you can have what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in to type in here door and you want prop door rotating and literally all you can do is then just click there you go and then if you double click it so with the select tool double click it it brings up here you go the prop door rotating and these here are all of the oh there we go these here are all of the different values that you can change so what you're going to want to do is where it clicks on uh, let's see, world model this one here go to browse and as you can see filter it will come up with door you may have to type it in and as you can see there are a there are a lot of doors you can have so here you go there's there's the first one and you can keep going down through them and also you get lots and lots of different doors for now we just choose this one here the props underscore c17 door zero one underscore left so you do then just double click that and that is then so if you click apply and you close there you have your door 
and it may well do that for you it will look could end up looking really really odd you may even need to rotate it which you can do under tools flip objects and then obviously you can flip it around what you're going to want to do is and if you zoom in on the map you can see you have the door press alt so you can just freely drag it around and basically just line it up so that it is perfectly lined up and you may well need to zoom in and if you just have it so it is lined up and then just shift q and selects it so then there you have your door so it's as simple as that the only other thing though that you're going to probably want to do spawn position you can change that so that it um so it spawns in spawns in closed or open forward or back or ajar so you can have it sort of open like halfway that sort of thing uh, you can have sounds as well so you can add some add like sounds into it and the rotation as well how far you want to rotate it so if you just want it to open 90 degrees then just have it 19 and also the health that means if you can break the door or not you've got the damage inflicted so if you block the door type in there how much damage it will give you and also delay before it closes minus one means it stays open or one it means it closes after a second just put a minus one keep it open and minus one means you have to manually close it yourself and then if you go to flags and you should have use closes and then also you can have you can see whether it starts locked or starts open and you've got all the different things you can do with that what you're going to want to do then class info just make sure you've got it all like this and you can choose your own door design whichever you want and also the good the good part with it the slave name you can put a name in there and you can then add you can then have other doors around the map so when you open that door other doors get opened at the same time so that's quite useful for making maps and actually the, the speed is the speed it opens the default is 100 so then you just click apply just close it and then you have your door in situ so this is obviously there's the gap you get from the outside and there's the gap from the inside however obviously you'll have this big sort of wall which you don't really want to have it in that texture so you do just click on it just load up this just go browse and that same brick we used which I got a feeling was this one and just click apply oh yes and there you go and there you have it there is your door that you can use in Gary's mod and to eliminate this gap all you would do is make these walls just press alt in and just make them as thin or as wide as you want and that's pretty much how to make a rotating door do that load that up and it will automatically give door handles that something that it does in the game though so don't worry that there aren't any handles there and that's a rotating door and join me next time and we'll have a look at how to make sliding doors so that's about it join me next time thanks for watching goodbye